you also um, ultimately got into a um, an actual profession versus working at the Shoney's and the Walmart at the entry level positions. Is that right? That is true. Tell me about that. While I was at the rehabilitation center, it was very stressful to me, and I'm sure to many others because I witnessed it. <clears throat> we were all older adults that had had a life before the debilitating injury that we had undergone. <clears throat> And yet, we were treated, my perception, we were treated as lesser individuals because of this injury. And, and when that happens, it makes you, it causes you to want to lose your motivation to succeed and do better. Well, I've always been a very helpful-minded individual. So every day we'd come back from the administration building where we did all of our little therapies to the dorm dormitory where we would rest and just bas basically be off. And I would look at the other fellow rehabees returning that all be slumped over. And you could tell that they were slumped over from the stress of being beat down, beat down, beat down. And I would ask everyone, can I help you? I'm very tall. And I, they say, how are you going to help me? I said, I'm going to rub your neck and shoulders. So they would stand in front of me, and I, because I'm tall, I could just get around their neck and shoulders and just rub the neck and shoulders. And there was a sitting area very close by, and so I would invite them to come sit down where I could stand behind them and work from the neck all the way down their arms, lean forward and go all the way down their back. And that relieved a lot of stress. And they all said, Kelly, you're really good at this. You ought to try to get this as your vocation, massage. And I said, I'm not quite sure how I do that. They said, Go to the vocational rehabilitation director. I said, okay, I'll check that out. Then what happened? I went to see him and he says, you want to do, you want to be a massage therapist? I said, yes, I do. Do you know how to be a massage therapist? I mean, I'm just reiterating, paraphrasing, basically what, what, uh, what I went through. I said, well, no, I don't, but I, pres I would guess I'd have to go to school. Do you know how to find a school? I said, well, I guess I could look in the yellow pages, you know, under massage. And they said, well, find a school and then we'll go tour it and see if this is really the right thing for you. I said, well, can I borrow your phone book? Because we really don't have any over in the dormitory. And I don't have a phone. You have to use a pay phone. And Where are you when this is going on? You're in the rehab center. What rehab center? And what the Tennessee Rehabilitation Center, TRC. And when, when did you go there? I started there in... September of 1998. So this is a, a year after your injury? Yes. How did you wind up back in a uh, rehabilitation center a year afterwards? For the driver's license. Okay. So you went to inpatient therapy for your driver's license? Yes, that's all TRC is, it's inpatient. Okay. And how long were you at TRC? I was, it's a seven month program and I was there from September of 98 until May of 99. And presumably with the primary issue as far as you're concerned to get your driver's license. Yes. So to get your driver's license they put you into a seven month inpatient program. program. So you're having this conversation about the massage therapy. Then what happened? The vocational room, the director, I'm not going to say his name, but he uh, <clears throat> he asked me to find a school, asked him if I knew how to find a school, so we went through all of this little teleplay, verbal play of finding a school. I used his telephone directory, I found the school, and I made a call, he said, call him, make an appointment for us to come and tour the school. I did that. He took me to meet the director of the school's education director and one of the teachers and they gave me all of the applications to fill out. Then we come back to the rehabilitation center and of course as soon as we come back in, he knocks on the school director's or the rehabilitation director's office door. And she says, and I, no, I'm not going to paraphrase, this is the honest gospel. Come in Kelly, come in Brian, what can I do for you? And and. Mr. Bryan says, well, Kelly would like to be a massage therapist, that's her vocation. So the director comes out in the hall and talks to us and, you want to do what? I said, I want to be a massage therapist. She says, Kelly, you can't be a massage therapist, literally. 
I said, why not? She says, Kelly, you've had a brain injury. A massage therapist has to every bone and muscle in the human body, and you will not be able to learn or remember that information if you want to be a massage therapist. And I said, no, no. Are you telling me that because I've had a brain injury that I'm not able to learn, I cannot learn, that I have no option to be a massage therapist? Yes. Watch me. And then I turned to Mr. Brown and I said, Mr. Brown, what are my options now? I mean, I know what I want to do. What are my options? He says, let's go back to my office. He says, so then what we need to do is see the, call the vocational rehabilitation office directly. Set you an appointment, get you a counselor, and go through all the process there. So that's what we did. I was assigned a counselor, <clears throat> filled out the application for the school. We had gone and toured, and they provided the funding for the school. And then I started massage therapy school in, I was supposed to start in April of 99, right after I got my driver's license in December. So uh, I started, I was there for, I think, for a week. And my sister was moving up here from Alabama. So we went down to Alabama to help her move up here. And I fell and I fractured my left, my weak sided wrist, the ulna. I fractured the bone right, right behind my wrist bone. So I was unable to actually physically do massage with the cast on my arm. So they put me out to start back up in September so I could let my arm heal a little bit. So I started back in September of 99 or 2000. The dates are funny there. But I graduated in 2001, April the 13th, Friday the 13th of 2001 and became a massage therapist.